The Sports County Report with Libra King, brought to you by Harvey Autos in Shreveport, Bossier City, the name you've trusted for years, Geico, the insurance savings you expect, Supreme Chevrolet, expect more from Supreme Automotive Group in Gonzales, Creed and Creed Law Firm, Serious Attorneys, Serious Injuries, Bollinger Shipyards, 75 years of delivering high quality vessels. Here's your host, Lee Burkeen. Hi, I'm Lee Burkeen, Sports Scout Report Podcast and Louisiana Football Magazine. We're at Southside High School. You can see behind me this incredible high school we're going to do a show at today. We're going to do several shows today. Well, I want to thank Jess Curtis, the head football coach, for allowing us to film today at the school in, in Youngsville, Louisiana, right outside of Lafayette. And we're going to take a tour through the school next before we start our coaches' interviews. But I hope you enjoy looking at the inside of this school where we're going to be filming our shows today at Southside High School. We'll see you soon. Check this out. What they're doing is they're building, if you see when you're driving out, that's the turf field. It's coming. Okay. We'll have the turf field, we'll have the scoreboard, we'll have the stands by next year. I mean, the following okay. year, gotcha. we'll have a new field house. So we're in, we're in transition, but y'all look at this school, man. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, so we're. This is what's so this is the kind of school that you're going you're gonna to see here. Yeah, Coach, we're filming. I want to get this. It's just kind of natural. It's a beautiful place, man. I mean, it's, it's almost like a mall, isn't it? It's well, I've seen them. I've seen Southside play every year, but I've never been to the school. Got your charging stations. What? Yeah, it's pretty cool. For the kids' phones? Got your little booths here. Wow. This looks like a library within a library, man. Pretty cool. Three story school. This is neat. It's, it's, it's kind of like the Mall of America here. You got that up top. That's crazy. Yeah. Back that way. It's pretty neat. Look at this up top. You see it there? It's just real, real nice. This is commitment we have. And again, we're sports programs are already winning. And now we're looking to, you know, the third field, third field's going to come in handy for us. But you just see the, the whole. Uh, Coach, when y'all get in the turf field? The turf field will be here by uh, by August. Okay. So we'll be okay. able to play our, our JV games and, and practice there. And next year, hopefully, we'll, we'll continue to face. Did them. you know when you were getting a job, you, this school looked like this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I came here for the interview and was blown away. I'd, I'd heard about Southside and I'd heard, you know, how nice the school is and how nice the Youngsville area is. And, yeah. And this is a place. That's Man, cool. look at this. So I'm here. It's just uh, it's a beautiful place. So, you know, this looks like a little college. Yeah, yeah it is. It's, to be honest, it looks like one of those high schools in Texas. So, uh, pretty neat. I'm glad you've letting us walk yeah, around and do this. Yeah, yeah, just wanted to kind of see. Yeah, uh, done. We're still in the uh, phase of. Uh, you know what enrollment is by chance? I'm not sure. I, I mean, I look it up. I'm, I mean, I that's the thing. But I mean, it's the opportunity, you know, where. Everybody's moving in this area. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, school was staff wise, you got a, how many guys you got on the staff right now? I got about 10 or 11. I've got another guy I'm interviewing tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to bring I'm gonna bring another one in, maybe two. Any anybody from North Louisiana? No, I just couldn't. They were locked in, but you know the wives were teaching on contracts. Okay, stuff. I got you. They just couldn't come yet. I, man, I can't get over this. Yeah, this this is, looks like it's beautiful. You go up, up top. It's, it's just unreal. Yeah. I appreciate you letting yeah. us be here yeah. today, man. Yeah, it's, it's good. It went good. I'm and glad to get to see you. Got some big guys that come. We got that DB from, you know, the Westgate, uh -huh. Anton, and uh -huh. the Singleton kid's a big time yeah. lineman from Warville. Yeah. Your guy, Ramon. And mm -hmm. Ramon, you know, text getting close to him, so. Good about that. I can't get over this charging pretty station cool, for phones. Yeah, it's pretty neat. <laughs> pretty neat. Pretty neat. The elevator. The elevator. The, the elevator in the school. If you don't want to. Yeah. Unbelievable. Anyway, right now, you know, athletics is housed over here. And as we phase up each phase, uh, uh, football, first phase is getting the turf okay, field. Well, I'm glad we. I'm still moving in. Okay. But, uh, you want to film some of the football championships? <laughs> Can we do that? Yeah, I mean, I, 
I need another case to put my game balls in. Man, look, tell everybody with these footballs we could yeah, show them. These, that's what you get when you, uh, you know, they call you to midfield before the game. And so these are kind of real sentimental six times. Three of them are championship wins and three of them are three losses. But these are our, our championship game balls. I hope to get my – get them up there on the – At Manny. Yeah. yeah. At Manny. So, uh, Again, I'm still moving. You're still putting them up. I love this picture. This is your <laughs> you and your nephew Tackett, nephew, yeah, that's who's that's, at Wisconsin now. That's, that's the last game. That's when, after you won it, huh? That's right after you won it. That, that's a lot of years. Of, the water. Yeah, that's good stuff. The last game there, man. So it's good stuff. Good, good times. Good times. So, well, I appreciate it, yeah, Jess. Thank, thank you, man. Thank you, you for man. doing Anytime. this. Appreciate you guys. This will look good on TV, man. <laughs> <laughs> good. good. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back. Lee Burkeen with the Sports Scouting Report Podcast. Also, Louisiana Football Magazine, our 28th year. We're going to do a preview magazine. If you're watching this show, South Side will be previewed. We'll have it on our website lafootballmagazine.com. We're in the gym of Southside High School, and they just hired a new football coach uh, prior to spring, and his name is Jess Curtis, who's won some state championships at Manny High School and has been around a long time. And, uh, Coach, good to see you. Good to see you, Lee. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Excited about being here. It's a great place. You know, people watching the show or going to watch the show, they know you from Natchitoches. They know you from Manny. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody in South Louisiana what it's like being from North Louisiana mm -hmm. and being a part of South Louisiana. It's it's nice. I mean, I, I love North Louisiana's home. You know, Manny, Louisiana's where I'm from, born and raised. Uh, but you know, this is neat. It's it's neat to see other places. You know, and this this is a unique place down here. The culture, the 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 food. Uh, uh, it's, it's a the football down here. I think it's, right. I think it's the, the 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 best football in the state is in this area right now. And uh, you know, so it's it's been fun to kind of get introduced to it and learn the lay of the land. Yeah. Well, you were at Manny. I mean, you can go all the way back when I remember when David Feaster was at Manny, head coach, and there was a few coaches. Yeah. Well, they were right on the tinker, and then you took them to state championship games several times. Mm -hmm. You won some state championships. Yes. You were at Natchitoches Central. Tell everybody what what made you, and I know this already, but tell everybody what made you move South Louisiana. You had a good reason. Oh, yeah, I had a good reason. Uh, you know, I just football. That's right. That's right. I recently got married uh, to a woman from Lafayette, my wife, and uh so, you know, it, it's it's a good reason to move down here. And, and also the opportunity to, to to try to do it, you know, 5A level uh, yeah. uh, in, in this region. I mean, we'll, our schedule is going to probably be one of the hardest schedules yeah. in the state. Uh, we're excited about that because that, that kind of lets you, you know, I always believe in iron sharpens iron. Uh, we want to be ready and prepared by the week 10 to go into the playoffs and win five games. And so how do you do that? By playing the best. And so we're excited about that. Me coming down here allows me to do that. Uh, so it's it's been a good time for me, uh, and I and I'm I'm ready to roll. Jess, people want to know this. They know that you had Manny. You, you one of the best in the state running the ball. That's right. And you, if you threw it, it was very very rare. Will you have a similar offense at Southside High School? Well, you know, like last year, Next Central, we so threw you're like more than anybody. Right, like, right. You know, like we had Dan Marino out there. I mean, it's like uh, you know Sheila going from Zonka to Marino. Right, but, right. But you know, you kind of look at what you have. This flex bone here at Southside has been, you know, Coach Fontenot done a tremendous job. Yeah, yes. This school's seven years old. Right. For them to be, you know, to be a playoff team is impressive. And what he did, the flex bone is kind of their DNA. You know, yeah. the, the, the kids really love the offense, and they're really good at it. What the spring showed me was, man, my coaches were good at, at it, and the kids were. I mean, we picked yeah. up and went, went against a good Turbans team. Uh, uh, yeah. I, we scored many times, and – uh you know, so yes, we're going to run the football. We're going, I, I believe in that. If I had my pick, I love to be able to control the tempo of a football game. I just yeah. do. You know, I, I like throwing it around too. I don't mind doing that. But when you can control the tempo and be physical and, yeah. and follow that with great defense, I just think it gives you a blueprint for it to win. I mean, okay, yeah. I yeah. Mean, you know, you look at all the teams in the dome, yeah. Opelousa, yeah. You know, so, you know, there's merit to both sides, but I'm going to run the football. Lafayette Christian, St. Thomas Moore. You know, we're we'll have the Abbeville coach on later today, who's now at uh, North Vermillion, North Audrey Four. Right. We've got some great football here in South Louisiana, and where you're from, North Louisiana. 
But uh, you've got a running back at UL from Manny. I do. Terrence Williams, he'll be big boy. They'll, they'll be starting at linebacker this year. They flipped him over to the big linebacker, and so he'll be start linebacker there. Um, what do you think about this district you're in, Coach? What do you think about the team? I love it. You know, that's kind of the thing, too. You know, with Manny, we didn't lose a district game for 13 years. Mm. And so, you know, once we got the district, you know, it kind of became, you know, whole home. You hate to say that. Right. Now, now here – Gosh, it's like a playoff game yeah. every week, and I like that. And that that gets me excited, you know. I think when you get my place in my career, playing the Katyana, you know, week eight, or you know, uh, that's exciting, right? You know all about that, uh, yeah. You know, and you might have some Lake Charles teams mixed. Uh, absolutely, we'll have the Barb's, you yeah. know, we'll have Sam Houston's, you know. But you know, our early schedule, I mean, we're, we're gonna we're gonna go fall scrimmage with Catholic Baton Rouge. We're gonna go uh, Jamboree with St. Thomas More. And then week one's against Louis Cook, Notre Dame, mm. followed by Neville at home. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, I, I think we play the Jets or the Cowboys. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it's going to be fun. Take a break. We'll go come right back more with Coach Jess Curtis, Southside High School. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group in Gonzales. Welcome back. Lee Burkeen, your host, uh, Louisiana Football Magazine, the Sports Scatter for a podcast for Southside, the Sharks. That's their nickname, uh, Southside High School there in Youngsville, Louisiana, right outside Lafayette. It's a rock throw. It's not that far. But, Man. Coach Curtis, uh, you're big on strafe training. You're sweating. You guys are here. I'm here early in the morning with you in the gym, and they're in the back lifting weights, squatting, power cleaning, bench pressing. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the strength of this team? I know, like I said, Coach Fontenot did a good job, but where where is the team, on your, in your opinion, on strafe training? Sure. In a good spot. What? what Coach Fontenot what did here was develop a culture of toughness and physicality, which is what I love. That's why I yep. thought this school was a good fit for me. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and we really try to carry that in. Uh, we had some till team six where they'd get here at five o'clock in the morning during school. Uh, that, that's Coach Fontenot that yep. had that going on. And yep. we just kind of continued it because the kids liked. Yeah. All right. And so we we bust them up like some seals that probably went to school. And that's impressive that a kid in 2024 wants to do that type of stuff. So yeah. real impressed with that. But, you know, strength of this team is probably the old lot, you know. And so when you have a bunch of hogs in there throwing weight around, you know, and we like to run the football, yep. it gives us a chance. Yeah, and you got a couple of good running backs coming back. We do, you know. And, and, and Ramon Singleton, as is, is a kid's like Terrence Williams. Yeah. I mean, Very, almost, it's almost, you know. Bruiser. They're looking at him as running back or linebacker. Yeah. And so, you know, he he looked really good in the spring. And, and we've had some, some guys flash like Justin Williams, who's going to be a sophomore. And he is going to be special. So we've got some really good players yeah. at offense. Yeah. You got Luke Detail who's going to lead that group, and and, and uh, you know, so excited about that. When you can, again, like I said, if you can run the football, yeah. be physical, yeah. control the time of possession, I think it gives you a chance against anybody. And you return some decent players on defense. I know your D line. You got a great DN coming up. We do. Uh, Hippolyte. Hippolyte. Yeah. Got some height. He does. Run and big tall kid. That, yeah. And it reminds me of the kid that signed with Texas from Manny from you. Yeah, Myron Warren. Myron Warren. 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 But you know, we we uh. We fly the football. We saw it in the spring. That's the thing. We kind of changed the defense up a little bit. But, uh, boy, running to the football. And, and you know, we tackled to the ground air practice. It was physical. Uh, I mean, I, that was probably the most physical uh, spring I've had. And, and the kids wanted it that way. That's what was kind of crazy. Yeah. You know, they didn't want thud. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it was – It was. I had my fingers crossed a lot. Right, I got it. It was, it was good stuff. We're going to take one more break. When we come back, I want to ask Coach's favorite South Louisiana food since he's been here a few weeks. We'll be right back. Creed and Creed Law Firm. Serious attorneys. Serious injuries. Welcome back. Lee Burkeen, your host. Louisiana Football Magazine since 97. And then the Sports Scouting Report podcast the last four years. We're at Southside High School. I'm here with head coach Jess Curtis, who's the new head coach at Southside. And uh, I want to ask you this. Uh, favorite South Louisiana Lafayette food so far for you. I mean, Coming from North Louisiana. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like it all. The crawfish, the etouffee, the jambalaya, the gumbo. I mean, my, my wife's from Rain, so, I mean, it's, she knows all the good spots to go eat. And so, well, I know you can get it in North Louisiana, but what is something you've eaten here that's a first-timer? Uh, I mean, not a first-time, because, I mean, I've, that's why I like it tongue, because they think we're out of state of when you're above right. Alexandria. So I've, I've, I've eaten, I love that. I love the Cajun food. So I haven't had anything for a first time, but, but it's, it's, it's might be a little better down here. I like a good old gumbo. Yeah, me too. Good old gumbo and some, uh, shrimp, anything with shrimp, uh, fry or etouffee. Coach, speaking of referees, um, 
Damn it. You got a, any story you'd want to share over the year? Oh, man. I, I, no, Coach, yeah. you, you mentioned it, but it, I, just for coaches in general watching the show. Yeah, yeah. One thing that people don't know, not in football, is that there's a good jarring back and forth every game. Oh, yeah. You got to. Oh, yeah. You got to say, hey, that guy's holding. Did you see that? That's right. Did that's, you see those holds for the next, right? Yeah, it's, it's good. You always have different associations. Yeah. I've been in the Shreveport Association forever. And so, you know, you're. Alexandria, so I mean Alexandria, but Lafayette. So yeah, it's just a new group of guys you got to get used to. And the ones in Shreveport knew me, knew how I worked, so how they work. Oh, you, you know, you kind of so it's a deal. But so now it'll be a different dynamic and different deal. But the Lafayette Association is one of the better associations in the state. I love watching coaches work the refs during the game, and uh, you know it works because later on that guy will go, yeah, I saw the way they're doing. They're that's right, chop blocking. Are they doing this? So they that's right. He's holding my guy at the line, you know. So you got to kind of learn these these refs. You know, I've had them right. in the playoffs through the years, but you know, now I have them every week. What's your goal this year at Southside? First year? Yeah, I mean, I, look, we're always going to push. I mean, you you want to? I've always told my teams you want to push quarterfinals, and then once you get the quarterfinals, it's all about preparation and 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 and, and, and playing the best, cleanest football you can, yeah. and you roll up the semis or finals and. And that's what I want to be. I, I want to push this thing into December. That's been my message to them. They've been going, you know, first, second round. They went the quarters once. Yeah. You know, I want to push this thing into December, continue yeah. the progress of us going. You know, I told them, take limits off. You, you think Superdome's not for you. At Manny, there was a time when we didn't think Superdome was for us. Uh, what you have to do is take limits off you, you know. And that's that's in life. I try to tell them, don't let people right. put limits on them. So we're going we're gonna to push for quarters and hope good things happen. Coach, I think this is a sleeping giant 5A school in the state. I told you that on the phone the other day, but every time I've watched Southside, it's been like this close for Fontenot has brought it. Now you're coming in, and I, I'm really fired up for you, and I know this community is pretty pumped. And appreciate you letting us do the shows here. Appreciate it. I believe in this place. You know, Youngsville, everybody, this, this, this place has exploded. It's a great place. That this There's not a finer school in the state. Uh, we're getting our football field built right now, so good things are happening. I'm like you. That's why I'm here. Just appreciate you guys coming in today yeah. doing this. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, man. Jeff Curtis, head coach. I know he's got to go back to the gym. He's got to run his guys. It's, it's workout time. He got here at 6.30 this morning. We got here a little bit after 7. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. We're going to interview his players in a different show, uh, about three or four of his seniors coming up, maybe a junior, uh, and uh, talk to some of those guys. Maybe uh, Hippolyte will be one of those guys. We'll see whoever coach picks. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the Sports Scouting Report with Lieber Team.